Hey guys, even here, and in today's video we got something really, really interesting. We got some real beef between Rafael Brandau and Tonio Burton. So, as you guys know, at the Arnold Classic South America or Arnold Classic Brazil, Rafael Brandau won and beat Tonio Burton, and Tonio was at his absolute best best he was really really conditioned he was also full at the same time and i think he was improved from the last time you saw him on stage and he had some really standout body parts overall he was really really impressive but rafael brandau still ended up winning and uh, you guys can tell me why do you think who actually deserved to win this show but if you watch my previous videos i already made a couple of videos on this topic and in my eyes i still feel like rafael was good enough i think he was just overall more complete and the controversy was that maybe it was in fact a robbery that rafael actually won this because he is from brazil but tonio is the one who truly deserved it now i didn't necessarily feel that way after i saw some really high quality photos I wasn't so sure what to think, but still, I still had Rafael winning this fair and square. I don't think this was a gifted victory. I don't really think there was a robbery, but in a most recent podcast that Tonio Burton did, he fired shots at Rafael Branda without any hesitation. He said exactly what he meant, and this started an avalanche, basically. After the clip from the podcast surfaced and was all over social media, Rafael Brando replied, and then Tonio replied back. So we got some interesting things to go over. Let's start with what Tonio had to say at this podcast about Rafael Brando and losing the Arnold Classic Brazil title to him. I mean, I said it online, and I'll say it again. He wasn't conditioned enough to win any pose. Yeah. If you had someone like Steve or Tyler judging, yes, he's not making a call out with that condition. To even speak on the his glutes, if you've seen the stream, he has lumps in his glutes. All right, all right. There is a lot to unwrap here. The first thing that Tonio says is that Rafael's conditioning wasn't good. And that's a fact. We all saw that. His conditioning was not as good as it was at the Arnold Ohio, and even in the Arnold Ohio, his conditioning wasn't his best conditioning ever. It was okay, it was decent, but more importantly, he was big, he was very complete in all the poses, and that's why he did so well, that's why he placed so high. But at the Arnold Classic Brazil, his conditioning was a lot worse, and this was kind of confirmed by his coach, Neil Hill. On the most recent Fuad Abiyad's podcast, Fuad actually said that he spoke to Neil Hill and that he said that Rafael was dieting for a little bit too long and they had trouble removing all the water and that's why he was off at the Arnold Brazil and that's why he's not doing Detroit because he was dieting for way too long and his body is not responding as they would like him to. So the point is, they are aware, it was confirmed that Rafael was off at the Arnold Brazil. Yet, he won. He beat Tony Burton, who was at his absolute best, who was at his 100% peak. Was it deserved? In my eyes, it was. But I guess Tony doesn't necessarily agree with that. So what he says is that uh, Rafael's conditioning was off, which was true, and that also he had bumps in his glutes. And you could see it on the live stream. So, can you guys see it? Because I don't think I noticed earlier, but now that Tony pointed it out... I can definitely see something going on. I thought it was just the way his glutes are shaped, but maybe there is something suspicious. There is something that is looking kind of weird, kind of off. And also what Tonio says is that Steve Weinberger and Tyler Mannion weren't there to judge. So we had who knows which judges. Maybe all of them were Brazilian. We don't know that. I doubt that is the case. I don't classic Brazil is a major competition, so I'm sure they had all the right judges. But yeah, apparently Steve Weinberger and Tyler Mannion apparently weren't even there. So we don't know who even judged this show. But if you ask me, they made the right call. However, let's hear what Rafael has to say to everything Tonio just said about him. So he posted his story, it's in Portuguese, but there is a translation that Rafael pasted in the comment section of the clip from the podcast, so let's read it. So he says, hello Tonio Bird, then I'm going to explain some things to you that you either didn't understand or pretend you didn't understand. 
Firstly, my gym is private and I was already scheduled to be closed for a few days before the show, just for me and my team. And even though you were going to compete against me and are not close to me, I allowed you and your team to train and create content within my gym. And I didn't even complain that you clogged the toilet and trained in your underwear. About the backstage, I only had two companions, my coach and my wife. All the other people who were there were not there for me, but for their own sponsors. But we are in Brazil, where thank god I have many friends. I was lying down with my towel on the same backstage floor as you. There weren't any exclusive privileges for me. You even had more companions than me. Regarding my oil and tan, each athlete has to take care of their own. I have a friend who was doing this for me, and you should have someone on your team who can do this for you too. It wasn't the championship that provided this especially for me. Regarding the result, when you are complaining that you were judged unfairly, you're not speaking ill of me, you're speaking ill of the judges. They are professionals trained to see who is the best as a whole and not just in one muscle group. Regarding my physique, it's not my fault that you at your best weren't able to beat me. You at your maximum conditioning still had no separation in your quads and hamstrings, no detail in the shoulders and chest and competed with little muscle volume. And regarding my attitude backstage, I was there to focus on the competition and not to make friends. If you really wanted to make friends, this wasn't the time. Finally, get your qualification and see you at the Mr. Olympia or not. Alright, alright, Rafael fires back, that's for sure. Now, I didn't watch the whole podcast, I don't know what he was saying about the gym, the Rafael's gym before the show, or about Rafael having special treatment with the pro tan and whatever, I don't know about that, but what he said about the physique, I think he made a lot of sense, I think Rafael kind of won this, uh, this argument, uh, at least so far. So basically what he says is that uh, Tonio didn't have separation in his chest or shoulders, that his chest was just not good enough, that he didn't have any separation in the hamstrings as well, and that he was missing all that separation even though his body fat percent was really low. So what he's saying is that Tonio's muscle doesn't have the quality. And also he says that he had little muscle volume. So basically he told him he's small. And just like I agreed with Tonio, I agree with Rafael as well. I honestly wasn't expecting a champion to reply to comments like this, but yeah, he did it still, and I gotta say, his arguments were compelling. I can see exactly what he meant, and still, I think Rafael won this. I could see an argument for Tonio winning it as well, because of his conditioning mainly, but yeah, Rafael was just bigger and more complete, and I think it was enough. Now, after Rafael said this, Tonio replied back again. Let's check that out. So he addressed Rafael Brandau and his fans. First, no one showed you any disrespect other than what you did on stage to myself and Uito and then gave a push at the end of it. Second, during mandatory poses, you got in front of me during ab and tie. To me, that's funny. I laughed about it. Three, to all of your fans commenting on my page, even on pics about my son, shows how low you all are and proves the point of how bad it would be if I won. Four, let's be honest, you were defeated backstage hanging your head down. Even your team came to say congrats to us. Five, you had no conditioning for stage. That's just the truth. You couldn't control breathing, again true. I don't know why the truth offends you, lol. Now, I'll end this with the Brazilian people who are in my DMs and welcoming and continuing to show the love and I appreciate you all 100%. To the keyboard warriors, you guys need help, lol. Do I think Rafa has a great physique? I said it multiple times on the podcast. I said he wasn't ready. But again, I understand the passion, but I listened before talking. Again, Olympic qualification will come, and let's see what that conditioning gets. Uh, this could have been a friendly battle like we do, but instead disrespect has to be used. All the hate that's coming, thank you for further proving my point. You guys this mad because you think with your emotions. Imagine if your god lost. I would have got it 10 times, 100 times more. Ooh, alright, alright, this got really heated now. And I gotta say, Tonio also made some really good points, but 
The one that struck me the most was this one. Let's read it again. Let's be honest, you were defeated backstage hanging your head down. Even your team came to us to say congrats. Wow, wow, is this true? Was Raphael really like down because he knew he wasn't in condition? And that he, I mean, okay, I, I can see that. But did his team really go over to Tonio to congrats him? Before the show even ended? Or before it started? I mean, that... Ooh, I don't know. That That's interesting. That's very, very interesting. I don't know what to say about it. I mean, if those guys thought that Tonio won because he was so much more conditioned, then why did Rafael win? Is it because he's from Brazil? I don't think so. I really don't think so. At least on the live stream... To me, Rafael still seemed like a winner. Yeah, sure, maybe not as conditioned, but still, overall, bigger and more complete in the poses. Yeah, Tonio beat him in both back poses, but that's about it. I don't think he beat him in many front and side poses. But hey, it is what it is, uh, Rafael won. Maybe Tonio is a bit mad that he didn't win. There is probably that. I don't think there was a robbery, really. I saw a lot of comments about it, but... I felt like there was no robbery, I felt like the result was justified. If you guys think otherwise, you can tell me down below. Now, as far as Tonio doing more shows, his next show is gonna be New York Pro against Nick Walker, but he tried to do the Detroit Pro. Tonio's coach posted a story in which he posted actually Tonio's physique update uh, from earlier this week at 228 pounds. So now we know his weight, basically... I guess he's a little bit less on stage here, he seems a little bit watery, so I guess he competes at around 220, which is quite a bit lower than Rafael Brando, by the way. Rafael is like, I don't know, 260 or even more than that? I mean, yeah, he's quite a bit taller, but still, still, that's a lot more muscle, that's a lot more of a bodybuilder, you know, on stage, he takes a lot more presence. Anyways, as far as Toronto Pro, here is what uh, Justin Jacoby, uh, Tonio's coach, says. Clearing the speculation here, after having a day home in the US with his family, Tony and I spoke and decided we would push to make it for Detroit. Unfortunately, we were too late getting our name and contract in. Even with the help of Ban and Fuad, we unfortunately were turned down by the IFBB due to the deadline. Rules are rules and we respect that. Unfortunately, that's how it is at times. But we did try, y'all. We just needed a little time to make the decision. We honestly felt so strongly going into the Arnold Classic Brazil that a backup plan wasn't needed. A lesson learned for us moving forward. So they thought they were gonna win Arnold Classic Brazil easily? against Rafael Branda, who just placed third at the Arnold Classic, right? They thought the backup plan wasn't needed? Come on, come on, cut the BS, that's just, that's just not true. They saw the lineup after it was published, they saw that it was an easy lineup, an easy show to win, and they wanted to enter then, and that's what happened. And this is exactly what the IABB is trying to prevent, there is a rule about these kind of things to prevent them from happening. After the athletes see the lineups, they want to enter, they want to win, easy money, easy qualification. And I understand that, that's reasonable. Also, I would love to see Tonio do the Detroit Pro, but the rules are as such, you need to apply sooner. I don't know why he didn't apply. Did he really think he can beat Rafael Brandau so easily? I don't buy into that, but it is what it is. Tony Burton is not doing Detroit Pro, even though he wants to. The IFBB will not let him, even though Ben, Chow, and Fuad Abiyad tried to get him in. They failed. The lineup is the lineup you saw six guys, three of them unknown guys, new pros. Three of them are decent pros, so it's gonna be a pretty weak show. But I'm sure Tony will get Mr. Olympic qualification, probably at a California pro, unless some of the top guys enter, you know, like Andrew Jack or Hunter Labrada, or I don't know, there's a lot of great guys that still didn't qualify. So we'll see. We'll see, but I think we're gonna see a rematch of Tony Burton versus Rafael Brandau at a Mr. Olympia stage, and we will have. Tyler Mannion and Steve Weinberger judging over there. 
so we'll see what's gonna happen over there but now in the comment section down below you guys tell me what do you think about this whole situation between Rafael Brandao and Antonio Burton if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and for more stuff like this about bodybuilding guys please subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching see you soon all the best and bye bye